Okay, we're getting ready to change the oil on this two-stage Quincy machine. There's a couple things we want to go over before we do that. First, we want to make sure that we've turned the unit off at the machine. And we also want to make sure that we've turned the power off at the fuse box. And typically, we want, we want to lock that out to make sure that no one can turn the power back on so that while we're doing this maintenance, uh, we want to eliminate any chance of this unit kicking back in. Okay, so once we've done those two things, I usually put a rag underneath the... Uh, the pump itself so that if oil starts to curl around I can keep oil from coming underneath onto the base plate. I like to keep this nice and clean. I'll bust loose this drain, uh, drain valve right here with an open end wrench, 9 16 or an adjustable wrench and I'll also loosen up where you put the oil in over here. So after that I will take a, take a funnel, simply put them under here, loosen this up, feed this down into, an, into a, a, a bucket, and we're off to the races. We're gonna go ahead and uh, we've already drained the oil, the oil out. We're gonna go ahead and put oil in it. It takes about uh, 1.62 quarts, and we're using a Quinsip ISO 100 SAE 30 weight. It's a 30 weight non-detergent mineral-based oil. We're gonna go ahead and put the oil in here. And as we fill it, we'll kind of keep an eye on the oil side gauge. There it is. There we go. So we've got the oil in it. Again, it took about 1.62 quarts. Comes up to just about mid-level on the oil site gauge. There we go. For the oil change, we got her all done. This is all tightened back up here. Got the oil right where it should be, and now we're gonna go ahead and check the air filter. So, take this off. Okay, how's that filter? Oh, that filter is a little dirty. Nice thing is with uh, Quincy, Quincy compressors, these things come with a special polyester filter that uh, one has the advantage that it can be washed out and extend the life of the air filters probably seven to ten times. But the biggest advantage with the filters that we use, they're made out of polyester, meaning that they filter the air ten to twenty times cleaner than a standard foam or a paper air filter. So that's a huge advantage. But we're going to go ahead and wash this out and clean it and I'll put it back in and we'll be ready to go. Okay, so we've washed out the air filter, dried it, and all we did was wash it out with warm soap and water. There we go, all done. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and record the maintenance record so we can make sure we keep track of it and we know when to change the oil and the air filter next time around. It's a nice, uh, this gives us a way of telling us exactly when we changed it. We also changed the air filter. It also gives us an opportunity to check off if we check the, uh, the bolt torque. Also, if we check the belt tension and also if we drain the tank. So, and I've also recorded here that we wanna make sure we change the oil again. In this particular application, we're gonna to wanna to change this in every six months. So, got a record over there. Should be in good shape.